It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know today. It's Friday, December 11th, 2020. Number one, President-elect Joe Biden has selected foreign policy expert Dr. Susan Rice to lead the White House Domestic Policy Council. The former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations and national security advisor during the Obama years may play a major role in Biden's Build Back Better platform. The Domestic Council is expected to deal with ongoing front burner issues of race relations and health care, especially during the current pandemic. This appointment is expected to bolster the claims of a more diverse and representative Biden administration. Number two, Michigan State Representative Cynthia Johnson, a black Democratic lawmaker, has been punished by Republican lawmakers and stripped of her committee assignments after she posted a video on Facebook in response to harassment and threats of lynching. In the short three-minute Facebook post, Ms. Johnson issues a warning to Trump supporters telling them to walk lightly. The video, Republicans say, threatens supporters of the president and is un-American. Number three, during a conversation this week with a coalition of black doctors, faith leaders, and academics, Dr. Anthony Fauci urged African Americans to have confidence in the COVID-19 vaccine. Recent polls find that African Americans are less likely to get vaccinated than any other ethnic group. Dr. Fauci acknowledged the history of mistreatment like that of the Tuskegee syphilis experiment, saying he fully respects the skepticism felt by black Americans. Number four, Johns Hopkins University announced this week that its founder and namesake, who was believed to be an early and staunch abolitionist actually owned at least five slaves, according to new research revealed in census records. University President Ronald J. Daniel said the school plans to join the University of Virginia's Association University Studying Slavery, which researches founders and the people they enslaved. Daniels added that while there are no plans to rename the university, the goal is to change the narrative, not the name. Number five, many millennials are foregoing starter homes and instead they're buying art. Due to their higher incomes and the internet, millennials are purchasing more art than the generations before them. A substantial amount of their purchases were sourced or purchased through social media, where black adults are the largest user group. What You Need to Know is brought to you by Black Voters Matter. Visit blackvotersmatterfund.org for more information. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed, be empowered.